Hello boys, and welcome to today's video. That really made me sound like a... Alfie. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's ignore that and try to conquer the world as a little nation. But with great potential in the Asian realm, Thailand. Or as it should be correctly called, Siam and this time. Yeah, let's not get too nifty grifty about all of these things. Well, first of all, I'll just get France out of this whole equation. Oh yeah, I still have huge reach on these. From European War 6, I'm not even used to having that big of a reach anymore with my units. Okay, so I still wait. Building a unit there. So I'm trying to enlarge in the Siamese Empire. Helps Japanese overthrow Asia, but at the moment it's still quite away because I have only still I only got one single tile, one province. So not the easiest quest. And I'll try to do it without using any generals. Yeah, easy peasy. So Cambodia mine. I'll have to have quite a good start to be able to survive the beginning onslaught because look how Thailand starts off, it's just absolutely encircled. Japan won't be fast enough to help. So let's do this. Even though I don't have the generals, I still have the super strong tech which I have unlocked. So I'm quite optimistic this should be a problem. Can I grab it with this? Yeah boy. So it's Onstel Hanoi and I've got all of Asia, uh, Southeast Asia. I mean, Singapore and Kuala Lumpur still will follow. And Germany is getting rid of all the little uh, countries around them. Uh, the Belgians have just fallen and the Danes have just fallen. Oh, and Hanoi was just left empty. So that means the French are gone from this continent. But now the Indians are also going after me. Ah well, no problem. And I've taken Hong Kong and I'm massively helping the Japanese. They are probably gonna smash through the Chinese soon. And the Dutch are gone. And the Yugoslavians are gone. So all of the small ally cities, uh, countries around Europe are slowly just getting destroyed. I think there's only still Greece left. And Norway, obviously. But that's not gonna be a big issue. And Poland as well is gone. Good job, Germany. And I've taken. Changong, which means that I have also almost expelled the Brits from one of their major cities here. I, I mean, not almost, I did expel the Brits from one of the one major cities. That's honestly Indonesia, which, why is it actually even British? It was Dutch. Oh, I just got Kuala Lumpur, but it cost me all of my money, but I think it's worth it. But I'll lose this random city here, but yeah, the, the military buildings which I could make from Kuala Lumpur were really annoying so it's okay to lose that one because now they can't build any tanks here anymore which were really crippling me oh and Peng I also lost that's weird but at least I got a Chinese city Wuhan I come on Japanese focus on Peking and then the Chinese is soon done and I've got Singapore and I got it so Southeast Asia Asia, uh, Asia my god, I can't even pronounce anything. Is united again. We. Oui. Just to make sure to keep it that way. Then I can start building units to actually go and wreck China or Indonesia. But Indonesia is not a big priority because everything is quite cheap. If you look at how much it costs, it's not very valuable land. And Greece has fallen. Very good. But it took quite long, I have to say. And I've got Sumatra. Japan is looking quite good because I helped them quite a lot. Don't forget that I'm doing this without any generals, huh? So be impressed. <laughs> Asking to be impressed. Anyways, I'm gonna go for Chong Chong. Chong King. You guys, I'm not Joe King. Oh! <laughs> Ah, oh, my jokes are so horrible. <laughs> but now nobody complained yet, to my big surprise. 
Okay, so I've got Chongqing. Japan should not be greatly aided. Come on, Japan. Germany is trying to see line, but... Oh, they managed to double in. Okay, interesting. How are Spanish and Italians doing? Hmm. I hopefully can soon go and take on the UDSSR. At first I've still got some different enemies in front of me. With India and with the Chinese and the Brits and the Philippines. Which are American this game. Good. I like becoming this Chinese overlord. With Wuhan, Hong Kong and Lanzhou. And Chongqing. It's looking good. Tell me please I can reach you with this airport. Yes. And from Jakarta I can now find a land in Borneo. And here. Indonesia has almost fallen swiftly as, as a butchered baby bomb. What the, what am I saying? <laughs> Just ignore the last one. <laughs> a butchered baby bomb. Oh my god. Please don't take this as a strange thing I just said. I was just too focused and absolutely chatting nonsense. Look at this. Oh my god, Thailand is so strong. <laughs> and I just copied a China. India is soon to follow. Oh, and surprisingly, Egypt has fallen. Did not see that coming. How? What? Africa is doing that well. Oh yeah. Well, it must help my allies a lot that I'm such a huge distraction. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Let's go, Thailand. When Spain is holding London. Interesting moves happening on the map right now. So I hope the North American conquest can soon begin. <laughs> I'm already meeting up with the Italians soon, border wise. This is my favorite history moment when the Thai people had started attacking Saratov and Novobirsk. Meanwhile, Japan struggles to take up Mongolia. But Germany and Europe is doing quite well, as well as, as, well as Africa. Astonished, they're really doing well. And there is now a <laughs> Siam Italian border. Realism through the roof. And the Thais have landed in Australia. It means Australia is only still a piece of cake. So as Mongolia is again taken by Thailand, not the Japanese. I'm gonna snatch away Saratov from the Italians. Oh, is, is there even a Bulgarian? <laughs> Thailand, Thai Bulgarian border. The realism is just unheard of. That should be. I mean, it's not exactly Perth, but I'll call it Perth now. That should be Perth dealt with. Battle the Russians left yet, Kaliningburg undefended. Oh my god, I think we can actually snatch away Moscow from Germany. Yeah. Moscow is Thai. Thai Moscow is the best. My favorite city is Thai controlled Moscow. So I'll focus now then my resources mainly on Australia. It's funny how always everybody damages the cities for me like Italy and Germany and Moscow now. I just grab it. I think slowly I'm getting to a point where I'm getting like a thousand, yep, over a thousand gold per turn was just insane. And again, Thai Mogadishu. In order of the European war and World Conquer series, especially Brisbane, always oh, is such a hassle to get. England's gonna fall, France is about to fall and then the American conquest will begin. <laughs> and France is gone. So it's only still England of the original allies. How is how is Norway still a thing? Can you please end that? Oh yes. Okay, I just capitulated the Soviet Union. And now Rain Hell. It's like D Day 2.0 but just in Alaska. Finally, Norway has fallen, and let's grab Hawaii. So the island cities are dealt with. And that's only still Canada and the US to grab, and I'm finally done. Well, guys, this is kind of senseless to finish this game, still off. It's very obvious I'm gonna win. Look at this glorious map. Thailand is absolutely beautiful. Going from Moscow 
till Australia, till Mogadishu, till Canada. Perfect, isn't it? Anyways, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Tell me if you like some more World Conquer 4 games in future. Maybe. No idea. Anyways, have a nice and...